Hello guys, Delta Road Productions, and welcome to the first ever workshop stream. So we got a overhead camera, we got a camera here looking at me, we got the whole setup, and today we're building ourselves a button box, and uh, this button box will be for ATS or ETS2, really building a custom button box for a specific game. But uh, honestly, uh, this kind of button box will work with any game. I'm just making specifically for one type of game for one of my friends. So let's get right into it. So I already got all the parts here. And I'll show you guys what I'm using. So first off, we have a key type switch. That's going to turn on and turn off. And find space for all parts there. Uh, we'll get back to this after I got some toggle buttons Toggle up and down We got a couple of those Put that aside We got those type of buttons, which I don't know what they're used for in real life Honestly, don't freaking know, but it's freaking awesome because it pulls and uh, retracts and then this is just a little knob that you're able to unscrew. So what's cool with that, we'll use that for the air brakes. And they're already colored. So yellow and red. And uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of expensive though. They're about six bucks each. But I think they're worth it. We do have, oh, I'm missing one of them. Where is it? I'll have to find it. Uh, this type of toggle switch, it's um, three-way switch that doesn't actually toggle, it's just like a button. 
So that way we could have positive, negative, we could, you know, fool around with that. But it's a three way position switch. Then we got a bunch of little buttons here. Push buttons, black, normal, nothing complicated. And we have another type of button here. That's the basic of it. We'll go with uh, the brains. The brains. I'm using a Tinsy. You could use. You could you use? Uh, you could use Talk Delta Talk. You could use um, Android type. You could also use the boards I I normally use, which I don't have it laying around here, but it's um, a Joy Joystick sim uh, emulator. Hold on, let me go get it, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm trying, people. I'm coming. Hold on. I don't think my wires go that far. Hold on, people. Hold on. I'm coming. You know, you would think I'd be prepared for this, but no, I'm not. Hold on. You might hear a click. Hold on. Every joystick aboard, and this thing has zero programming to do, nothing to be done, and it comes with everything you need, all your wires, connectors. This is really simple. The only downside to this, it has, I believe, 12 buttons, so there's not a lot of uh, outputs, so that's why I'm using a little tin here, which will give me all 32 outputs if I wanted to. In this case, I'm using 23. But this will give me more um, more of what I'm looking for. And this board is awesome. If you, if you just need 12 buttons, use this board. It's pretty cheap too. It's like about $12. It's worth it. Alrighty. So that's the brains. So step number one, people. Step number one is doing your layout. I've already done my layout of how how I want it and where the buttons are going to be. Though while doing this and checking up in, in real, I realized that it wouldn't really work, so the layout will kind of change. But that's not a big problem. Your best tool is, of course, a ruler. Or any kind of measuring device. You guys want to make it as neat as possible. And uh, what I did is I basically put them kind of in rows. So I got one, two, three, four rows, kind of. So technically, if I use a button, I already calculated the width of the row and then kind of made them equal and then I calculated each row that goes up and down like that and it's gonna make them make it look good so where was I so I, I started this we're gonna finish the layout here so basically we I want I don't know if you guys can see that I want two three four rows Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so I'd be missing one little thingy, but I could change the position. Okay. It's 
Focus! Jesus Christ, this looks like I've done that all my life. Okay. Um. And your pencil is your best friend with an eraser when designing. So that way you could erase if you need to. And this line is completely... Is it crooked? No, it looks, it looks crooked kind of, but it's fine, I guess. Cool. All right. So, 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 how are we going to do this? So I already put the center to know where to drill my hole. And then whenever this line, this line intersects, I know how to drill a hole there. So I can put my button in there. So now it's just a question of connecting the lines. Now you could do this in another color if you wanted to. I'll try to remember. I'll, I'll actually go further so I know it's that line. If you're using a right angle uh, ruler, it's the best thing. So you'll know that your lines are straight. If not, just use a ruler. Take your time. It's all about taking your time and making this as beautiful as you want. Or make it as ugly as you want, really. It's up to you. I don't complain. So it seems there's a lot of lines, but basically the lines are extended, and the lines I will be extended, that's where I'll be drilling my holes. And that was just to get my basic layout. To get the basic layout simple, just, just take a switch. You know, you, you, you could start merging stuff, and then I usually just go like by eye and go like, okay, that will work, that will work, that will work, and then take out the ruler and start drawing up a sketch, drawing up something that... I would like and that's how I'm getting this right now so there's no right or wrong answer to this it's however you guys want it And in the end, you have the option to cover this in a vinyl, like I will be doing. Or you have the option of um, erasing <laughs> and then just leaving it blank. Hey, Pistol Packer, how are you doing, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Workshop. funny because like this this line looks super crooked but when I look it directly it looks fine like even on stream you can see that like looks crooked but it's fine it's weird already so one two three four um One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So where was I going to put this? Good question. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
I feel like there's no right or wrong answers on how you're going to do this. Now I gotta find my drill parts. I never remember where I put them. Drop them. All right, so let's make sure we got everything good before we start drilling. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Uh, no, this one has nothing. One, two, one, two, three, four. I really wonder why I did five, though. Was I stupid? I could be stupid. Uh, what I think I'll do, I'll do the. Um, could do a lift up there. Okay, I'll do that. I'll change some buttons around and make it work. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One and two. If I look at this, I'm a visual person. I always try and make sure it feels good. And on the bottom will be one, two, three. Yes, yeah, so I could do that that and that so I'm just doing one side down and then we'll do the other side after with those big switches here it's not going to be complicated which actually I could do that now uh, the big button and the big little thingy here could go right in the middle here so I could put my buttons here and I have that there that sounds good Try and make it look nice here. So this here, this here. We're then gonna have Two push buttons here. Underneath here, we're gonna build. Build. We're gonna put the this little thing there. I wonder. And move that, that will have to go through it. Okay, it's not a big deal. We're going to try to figure out something from that. But what I'll do is I'll extend this line. So 
and we're going to do a pallet hole because that's what we're going to do with the small drawer first. And then we're going to put ourselves a little push button here. It's going to be like something super small like this. So you turn on your engine. So this will be the ignition. From the simulator, you'll turn on the ignition, and then you'll have contact. All right, so I think I got my layout good. I believe I do. Well, let's calculate how many holes versus how many X's. So 21, 21 that was planned to 21 X's. Sounds good so far. So it's all about taking your time, people. So you do a little pilot hold first. And then we'll drill out. All right, so we got the pilot holes done. It's a good start. Now we're going to need to do the drilling part. And what I use is those kind of bits there, instead of using normal bits. I find it's a lot simpler. And if you want to make it just a little bigger, you can, without too much hassle. And once you do the little pilot holes, it works super fine. So I got a little kit like that. I know you could buy them like on Amazon. It's like $10, $20. Around that range. So now, I think I'll do this one first. And to do this one, I'll need a different kind of bit. So let me go find that. Now, is it too big? That's a question. I think, be, I think it will be too big. Ooh, I didn't really measure that. Do I have the right tool to do it? You know what we'll do? Just to make sure I don't fuck up. I have a box here which is like 
my um, it's where I test stuff <laughs> so this is where I'll test this see if it works so I think it's gonna be a little too big and I don't want to do a hole and screw everything up so once the hole is there you cannot uh, put it back I think that's way too big. I don't think that's gonna work. Yep. That's way too big. So I do not have oh god, that's gonna be interesting. I don't have the correct part for this. Not the end of the world. You could always order it and we'll get it when we get it. It doesn't doesn't matter if we use this or not. Not gonna work. We're good. Put that away. Not the end of the world. Throw that across the room. We're good. Okay, so we're not gonna do this one today. I'll need to order the correct part to drill out of the hole for this. But not the end of the world. There. We'll do everything else around it. My just biggest war now. We'll do everything around. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alrighty, so we're gonna use those bits now, and we're gonna make sure we follow our guide, because the toggles here are not the same size, or I don't think they are. Of the little buttons here, no, they don't. They're not. What I usually do is like this on now. Sounds stupid, but it works. So two left. And then this one also two, so it could maybe work. We'll check it out. First one's gonna be a toggle. We're going to see if the toggle fits. Toggle doesn't fit. This little thing doesn't fit either. So, if we do another little thing, I think we're going to have to drill all of it. Oh, this one works if we have one left. Come back here. Hey Kiwi, what's up my friend? How are you doing? And this one works, actually they're both the same. Cool, that's going to make my life a lot simpler. Just freaking drill away. Leave the bacon alone. There's no bacon here, buddy. I wish there was. If I drill them all the way, are they too big? I don't think they are. They move a little, they jiggle a little, but that's fine. So we're going to do them all the way. Now those ones though, those ones are going to be different, actually they're not, look at the dumbass talking here, um, do they fit through this? 
Oh, they do. Jesus Christ, it's going to be an easy build here. I like that. In the past, I already used like buttons that like were mix and match. So I had to drill different holes and pin in the button. So what's new with Little Kiwi? So the, the only hole we're not going to do is the one for the key there, because that's not going to work. And as you guys can see, it makes a freaking mess. That's okay. That's part of the fun there. Get my little uh, vacuum here. Vacuum most of the things away if I can. There you go, that'll work for now. All right, so we got the holes done. Now, the thing with the holes, they kind of leave a little edge here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's a little edge sometimes. That's so what I take. I take a little sharp knife and I go around them. Just to make sure there's no more edge. And that it sits fluff. Little tricks like that will make your button box look a lot neater. Let's do this like this. So like everyone I do, I do them on both sides. Remove the little edge. There's less in the front, more in the back usually. But still a good idea doing the front. back here. So you're basically just going around it. Not sure if you guys are able to see that, but just go around it. I mean you won't maybe get all of it, depends on how close to the border you are. It's a little more difficult. This one.
we go. So with that said, we got the layout done, except of course the big thing here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to test everything out and see if everything fits and aligns properly. And then from there we'll move on. Um, let's do this. Now you do want to tighten them up just for the mock-up. Just make sure everything's work as you want. Now what's cool with those ones, and I'll, I'll, I'll adjust the depth of it, but you could adjust the depth of how much it's going out and in. So if you have a smaller button box on the side, it will come out more on this side. At least you have, you'll have the clearance. So I was hoping to do as much as I could, including wrapping it today, but I cannot wrap it. Because... I can't do this roll, so we're not going to wrap it. Now let's... oh, that's why. I was wondering why the thing was poking on more. Who was that? So let's start. Then we do want to push buttons on the bottom here. So test fitting is always a good thing because it's now or never that you're able to see if everything works. Now I'm not going to push that all in when I'll be building it. I don't know if you guys can see that. The washer is not pressed, but once I'll be actually doing it, it's going to be pressed down. So we're just doing a quick mock-up. And I just realized something. I might have screwed up. So I forgot that this button was this. But no, it seems where uh, it seems all shot is. Oh, lucky bastard. Mm -hmm. Now, what goes on the bottom? We have uh, toggle, 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 toggle. Now this toggle has a little cover here, and then you put the nut on top. And again, doesn't matter how, if it's positioned on or off, we're just doing a mock-up. We'll figure that out when we actually build it. Toggle, toggle, and that's going to be three push buttons here. 
So the other reason why it's important to do the mock-up is because I'll be mounting this using a mic um, stand, I guess you want to call it. And I need to know how much space I have between it to mount it. So I have to say I'll be f freaking jealous out of this. It's gonna be one of my nicest builds I've been do I'll be doing. Not saying I don't do nice builds before, but this one's gonna be the one where I put all my my energy, my skills to it. And Simon for me. I'm also buying, I'm also having a label maker, and we're going to put labels on this. Now I, I'm just hoping I'll have enough space to put a label, because this looks kind of tight here to put a label. The bottom ones doesn't really matter. I could put the label on the bottom. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Now, uh, toggle, toggle, on top here, yeah, there will be label, um, don't know if I have my copied version here. I did remove the label. I do have a label maker. Um, I have a couple different um, options out of it, and I could take that out uh, right after and show you a couple of different options that I have. As, as I was saying, I, I'm not sure the gapping, how it's going to affect it. If I'll need to use one or the other, we'll see. But it is going to be um, labeled, and that's why it's going to be specifically for ATS and ETS2. Just because it's going to be labeled. There, the game's going to see it as a joystick, so it doesn't matter. But, with that said, um, the labels, you know, you're not going to change the labels. Uh, where does my other toggle go? Actually, I'm missing the toggles. Toggle, 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 toggle. Where's my other toggle? Right there. So I'll take out. I'll I'll, I'll go get my label machine, and then we could test that out too. Because uh, for sure today I cannot finish the freaking thing because I don't have the correct parts. So I've looked at that before, but I thought it would work. I'm sometimes intelligent, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I forget. Not the other world. And then toggle on the button. Bottom. I might just have to toggle them, uh, label them in black, because the one I have is um, transparent, and that one's really nice because it's white on transparent. 
So it looks really good with the carbon vinyl that I put on top of it. But it's a lot, um, the width is a lot bigger. All right, so plus buttons there, there, and there. And then this little buggy buddy there. Where's my We're missing one little toggle here, which is, uh, where did I put it? It's on my little testing board here. And there you go. So that looks pretty good, actually. Oh, let's sit down here. That looks pretty, pretty good, I think. Um, you guys want to do a little description of what the button layout will be and how I made it. It's simple. So here we got the engine brake. Now this, I'm not, this one, it's going to be like a selector. I'm not sure if it's going to be engine brake, um, up or down because you're able to select um, select uh, how big you want any engine brake but it could be also a retarder so this could be retarder I think cruise control cruise control up and down and that's going to be cruise resume we're going to have lights high beam my earphones are falling off beacons wipers and we got the truck brakes trailer brakes here we all have an active button so when you go fuel up we'll just press the active button it's going to be your trailer button then that's going to be your left right and four ways so your flashers those two toggles here is going to be for the lift and then we'll have one for the dip here is going to be in the middle, which I cannot drill. Can I not? No, it's not big enough. So I'll say maybe with no. It's gonna be the little uh, key here, which is gonna be right here in the middle. Gonna put that there with the push button to start. Not bad. So at least that worked out good. Now the question is the mount. I did want to put the mount around here. Do I have enough space in the back? I think I do. Looks like I would if I put it more or less right here.
that doesn't really matter. We'll do a hole in there first. And we'll fix that. Or I might just use the other one I have. We'll see. Not a big deal. So let me go get my label machine and we'll test out the labels before we end uh, this little stream there. So hold on to your horses. It's going to unplug again, but I'll be right back. It's going to look like this. This one, by the way, is... I, I'm not sure what I'll do with this one. I don't know if it's going to be a giveaway. This one works. Everything's done to it. Um, I'm not sure. Do I sell it? Do I give it? Don't know. There's a little key here. That one's really nice. I like it, but that's going to be the layout in the front here. All right, so label machine is here. Let's uh, plug this little baby in and see and test it out how big we can make our stuff. Um, let's do this. We're going to put, um, uh, let's say engine brake. Now for the size of this, we're going to put a small, maybe 12, 9. We'll start with 9. We'll see how it goes. Looks pretty small, actually. But it looks like it would fit. Now the thing is, you guys can't really see. Um, on it. Now this board, dumbass. Whoop. Actually, you know what? I'll just put it um, on this. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it because it's white on clear. And if I just put it like this, you guys won't see it. But it would fit, and actually, it's really small. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's engine brake, and that would fit. 
small enough to fit in between. Now, is it too small? That's a question. Now, I like this thing because you could also decide to put a border around it. So I'm going to check with the border how it works. And we're going to put it up to 12. So 12 seems to be too big, though. So I think 9 will have to do. No, see that that's the problem though. It's making it's making the width too high. Not really the length I want to change though. Mm-hmm. So we might not be able to change that. Nope. So I did want to put a little edge around it, but it doesn't seem like I could with this. So not the end of the world here. So it's gonna be nine without the border. Uh, if you guys want to play play pretend pretend here a little And by the way, a label machine doesn't cost that much. A lot of people are saying, oh my god, it's going to cost a lot. No, it really doesn't, honestly. 30 bucks. The cassettes, though, are more expensive. They're about the same price as the freaking machine. But it's worth it, I think. So that's what I'll be doing for each little button, using that after that, going around it. And then we're going to use, uh, what's other where I put it? So what happened when it's transparent, you kind of lose track of it. And then this would be, by the way, trimmed down. I'm not going to put, I'm going to trim down the side and stuff. But right now it's just a purpose to show that it works. Like that. So yeah, that's going to work out. And 
and then it's going to be labeled. I know it's not auto focusing, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's going to be labeled, and everything's going to be labeled. Good. So, guys, that's going to be it for today. It's just because I cannot go any further due to the fact that I don't have the correct size drill bit for this hole. Once that's done, we're then going to do the mount and how I'm going to mount it. It's going to be simple like this, not complicated at all. And then we're going to put the vinyl on top, put all the labels on top, and then uh, hook everything up. Hooking everything up is always the last thing you want to do. Because once it's done, it's done. You don't want to go any further than that. So that's going to be all the basic layout, basic thing. So guys, make sure to go ahead and and uh, check out at uh, www.deltaroadproduction.com for the next event. Uh, we're doing uh, uh, live streams every Sunday. Uh, it's going to be gaming. So it could be a workshop. Depends if I get my parts and how I film that day. But usually it's gaming. Also check out uh, the giveaway tab. Giveaway tab. We're um, giving away games. I'm giving away games every month. Lots of games. So make sure to go check that out. So thank you guys for coming in, and I'll catch you guys later. Until then, take care.